Thanks for checking out these clips on the web show. Last Man Standing 2 is going to be an amazing tournament, and this was the morning of the fight, the Wednesday. And as usual with the team, we went looking to start the day with a uh, early morning coffee, and there's plenty of those. Great spots in Melbourne, and just off Burke Street, we found Bar Urban with some awesome lattes in there. Everyone having a good time, the whole team coming together, and uh, it was ready to rock and roll because from daylight it went to nighttime. There's Nathan's mum there. All the team down there getting ready to go to the venue. Stand the man and Michael Chabello warming up the crowd there as the telecast is about to go live around Australia on main event. And there is the ring and the guys backstage so cramped and all the big guys there about to fight each other. These are the best heavyweights in the country. It was an absolutely awesome card. And uh, really, it was just so hard to win. You had to win three fights on the night against these guys to take the money and to become the champion. And that's what the mission was for Carnage there. Of course, he's one of the lightest guys as well, moving up about 10 kilos in weight. So that was the challenge. All the guys there getting ready to be go out and introduced to the crowd. Uh, and here is Tarek Solid welcoming everybody. Tonight is very special because we have not only the best heavyweights in Australia, we've got some great heavyweights from around the world. I was with the big team last night and they're promising me three knockouts tonight. I'm with, I was with Nathan Corbett's team the other day, they're promising me three knockouts tonight. Uh, Andre Manier is telling me he's going to hurt everybody tonight. Yeah, so after going off stage and uh, the crowd ready to rock and roll, the eight-man tournament about to begin. Fight number one for the carnage was against Shane Tilliard, and if you saw the clip the other day, then you'll see that Shane's a big fan of the carnage. So this was it, the moment of truth, and here's how it panned out. So from a knee strike to the head, a pretty bad cut there on Shane. There was blood everywhere, and uh, but a very, very tough fight. And this is what happened in round number two.
Yeah, so with Nathan starting to really warm up with the uh, leg strikes and headshots, the towel was thrown in from Shane's corner. And uh, a great fight there to kick off the tournament. One down for the carnage, and that's what it's all about. And the sportsmanship from these guys is just awesome. Of course, Shane coming around to talk to one of his idols, and uh, Nathan there talking to him after the fight. And it was great to pull the camera out again and have a quick chat. You've certainly impressed a lot of people out there. Oh, I came in, you know, knowing that um, this would be the hardest fight I'll ever have, so everything from here is downhill. The game plan was, you know, anything get hit with, just keep coming back, and I would have got up again, but I, I thought the ref stopped the fight, but then I heard my corner through the towel, and they didn't want me to get cut anymore. But um, that was an experience for the one and a half rounds it was. It was awesome. And... But talk us through it, mate. Like, you're in there, and you're throwing punches with a guy that, like you said to me the other day, you know, you went into the gym because he was a hero, yours on TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. the carnage, and, you, mate, not many people get in there have the guts to do it. Yeah. You took him on. What was it like? With your... I was, you know, like... After the first punch is thrown, you stop thinking, oh, this is Nathan Corbett, and you start thinking, this is a guy I'm fighting, and it's, it's, you know, his hits coming just like everybody else's, a bit clean, a bit harder, but, you know, same, same deal, they come just like everyone else, and just got to get past that star struck and start banging, I just, well, I thought I was fit, but um, coming up against someone like that, he's got a high work rate and just keeps coming, so definitely know that I need to be twice as fit as I, as I am right now. Hey, you got an awesome career in front of you, so uh, all the best with it, eh? Thanks for that, mate. Cheers. Yes, there you go. A name to watch out for in the future, but time to catch up with the carnage and get his thoughts on things so far. Hadn't fought in a while, so there's a little bit of sort of ring rust there, but uh, I found, my, found myself towards the end there and felt comfortable, so it was good. You saw the video we put online the other day about a kid that just worshipped you and actually put gloves on because he wanted to be like Carnage. All of a sudden he's in the ring fighting you. Is that playing a part in your mind or you just want to just take him out? No, nah, look, once I got over the ropes, none of that played anything in my mind because, you know, any fighter can get in there and win. It's a puncher's chance. And he threw out a couple big, you know, a few big haymakers over the top there that was close call. So, um, you know, anyone's deadly in there, so I didn't take anything lightly. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I can bring it to the table in the next two because, uh, you know, the boys will get better from here as well, so I'm going to have to lift my game as well. No injuries? No, no real injuries. It's just a couple of little bruises here and there, but that's uh, bound to happen when you're punching on. Yes, there you go. The night was off to a good start. One down and two to go for Carnage to become the champion. And, of course, his semi-final opponent was going to be a tough one, Thor Hoopman. And that is coming up in the next clip on the web show. Last man standing to...